obviously they're wrong because that one gear didn't even fit on there right and I don't really see it galled out I thought it was galled out right, so let's put the whammy tighten on this we know that's good Oh, that's great for the chrome. <laughs> it's really good for the chrome finish. Uh, if this was a show bike, you would use leather in here or some soft jaws or, or do something different. <clears throat> yeah, good luck getting that off, buddy. <laughs> All right, so that's in there. All right, let's pack these up and throw it in. <laughs> if this was a show bike, I probably wouldn't be working on it. There you go. There you go. Ah, don't get me wrong. I've had a few nice bikes that you would be very careful on and stuff, but for the most part, I deal with a lot of clunkers. All right, so we we put the whammy on that. This is Schwinn Varsity 72. Uh, yeah, 3172, probably off of a Varsity or Continental or something with 10 speeds. Uh, we bridged this out because it is a Varsity. It has to go out a little bit more. And the chances of you running a chain guard now are slim, but we'll check that in a minute. All right, so here we go. This should be the final. Sweet. Make sure all the grease comes out. Dude. Now, can you see why I dry fitted it at first? Because I wasn't sure about what was happening. Wouldn't this be a bummer if we put it all together with grease and it was wrong like five times? Yeah. So, if you have the opportunity and you don't know what's really going on, like this bike was just basically a basket case you know with the wrong parts try to dry fit things first if you can uh, that way when you're taking it apart for what is it going on five times now when you take it apart and assemble it five times because you're that good uh, it won't be so messy, you know? Because we like to keep things all happy and clean here. Okay, we got some in there. What big goo. Okay, man, that is looking and feeling good. So now we can use Schwinn stuff. Awesome. We don't need those crappy... We don't need that crappy stuff, non-Schwinn stuff. We got real stuff here. Let's see, is that the best one I got? Yeah, that nub's a little worn. I think that nub is a little better. There's a little nub there, it wears out. Yeah, that one's a little better, but it's not Schwinn. Darn it. Hmm, well, I guess this is it. This is what I got. So Schwinn is 28 threads per inch. Other bikes are 24. You can get a 24 on a 28, but it'll be the last time you ever put that on there. Uh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> 
And you really gotta want that, you know. Oh yeah, sweet. That's not bad at all. I'll take that all day long. All right, let's loosen that up a little bit. It's a little play. Let's see how it turns out when we tighten it. A little bit. It's a little play. I'll take that to the bank all day long. Okay. And check the gear. I mean, that's nice. It's not bad. A little small. Okay, so let's run a tap through these and make sure. Okay, here's a right tap. Of course, the bike's kind of in the wrong. Okay. This way, but we'll do it. Okay, nothing wrong with that. It's a nice clean pedal hole. Not much stuff coming out of there. A little bit. You should always check. Because these are unknown cranks. These are just sitting in my parts. You know, I don't know where I got these. I know what year they're from. I know they're incorrect. What I don't know is if the threads are good. I probably should have checked before I put them in. But I eyeballed them and they looked okay. So, we'll go from there. I mean, I, I looked in there and there were threads. But I wasn't totally just hoping and praying. And, you know, hoping and praying that the threads were good. Yeah, I wasn't totally being a doofus. Okay, so left hand thread. This is a left hand fine. Uh, half inch left hand national fine there are other pedal sizes that are 9 16 but these cranks are not one of them hmm. I don't know a problem here hmm or maybe that's why I didn't use these come on now Yeah, it was close. I thought those were no good. So we'll go backwards. Should probably put some grease on here, but it seems to be cutting pretty good. This one was a little crappy. See how it's like it's taking a lot here? I can see chips falling out of the back of it too. Yeah, that's that's doing a lot there. Yeah, look at all those chips. Yeah, see, that was that would have been a problem. Yeah, there's rust and chips in there. So, yeah, blow those off in the ground a little. We should probably hit that with compressed air, but I think we'll be all right. Let me hit it with some compressed air here. There. Okay. So, what have we learned? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's pretty close to being right. 
I mean the gear this is gonna be somewhere around here hmm yeah it's gonna be close it might be off a little I think it's gonna work pretty good though there's no really way to tell until we put the back wheel on so since it's still going and I got my new memory card uh, wow 45 minutes in we haven't done anything <laughs> okay let's let's put the back wheel on I don't have a master link for the chain yet but we can line the chain up and make sure so let's uh, let's switch this around Which is around the other side here. Oh, and uh, check out my patina action. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Okay. I did the front one too. <laughs> yeah, nice and rusty pocky. <laughs> Here at Falcon Fixes All, we know how to like match terrible paint jobs. Yeah, <laughs> we can do that. All right, let's put this back wheel on real quick. See what's crackling. All right, I gotta take these off. So when I'm working on 